On the issue of law and order, as you mentioned, I think there's just a whole lot of misinformation, to be honest with you. I have personally prosecuted very serious crime. It's how I started my career. I spent most of my career as a prosecutor, not in Washington, D.C. All right, Kamala Harris has insisted she'll be a prosecutor president. Now, if we look back, and we've done videos before on Jamal True Love and how she gleefully prosecuted an innocent man, got California sued in the process. True Love rightfully won a multi-million dollar judgment. We've talked about that. But look, let's pay attention now to Kamala Harris in her own words. Now, if you vote for this woman after you see this, you can never in good conscience complain about overzealous law enforcement ever again. Dear Kamala Harris, let's get one thing crystal clear. The vast majority of American men have no issue with electing a female president. Our issue lies solely with you. You were second in charge of California for 13 years. As California's Attorney General, Harris promoted enforcement of a law that allowed prosecutors to seek jail time for parents of truant kids. As a prosecutor in law enforcement, I have a huge stick. So I decided I was going to start prosecuting parents for truancy. I thought that was crazy. I, I was like, how can you lock parents up? If you don't go to school, Kamala's gonna put you and me in jail. <laughs> yes, we achieved intend intended effect. I open the door and I see at least seven or eight cops that wanted to arrest me. As a matter of fact, they did. And frankly, you know the prosecutors in my office who volunteered to do this? my homicide prosecutors, my gang prosecutors. And they went over there and I said, when you go over there, look really mean. She had me arrested and prosecuted because my handicapped daughter was sick in the hospital and had missed some days of school. I learned that with the swipe of my pen, I could charge someone with the lowest level offense. That person could be arrested, they could lose time from work and their family maybe lose their job. They'd have to come out of their own pocket to help hire a lawyer. They'd lose standing in their community. I lost my job and couldn't pay rent and we got evicted. Weeks later, I could dismiss the charges, but their life would forever be changed. I became homeless. We had to move into a motel. All because of the swipe of my pen. I don't agree what Kamala Harris did to my mom. And I don't, I don't agree with what she's done to other parents as well. You were second in charge of the United States for four years. If anything, would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. Inflation is hitting the highest level in 39 years. A record high number of illegal crossings. Crime's been surging across the nation. Huge spikes in homicides. Could we be heading toward World War III? After 17 years of failed leadership, you are now asking us to trust you as first in charge of our country. I am concerned and focused on big issues. Elementary and middle school truancy is actually a big issue if we're trying to save the state money. Because of truancy, California public schools lose $1.4 billion a year in funding. I want money. <laughs> <laughs> My message to all Americans, do not trust Kamala Harris. As men and protectors of women and children, you are simply a risk we are not willing to take. Paid for by Maha Alliance and not authorized by any candidate or candidates committee. I need y'all to share that. Hit that thumbs up. Spread this word as folks are already early voting. Educate people into the mindset of an overzealous prosecutor who now wants to be the commander in chief. Do you believe that, I mean, you saw the glee on her face when she announced, oh, I've got a big stick, all right? You saw just the joy. Want to talk about joy. That's her campaign slogan, right? She said, oh, I sent 
homicide detectives and gang unit cops. And I told them, look real mean when you go. You heard her say that. Sick stuff. Okay. Do you really believe that this woman has the temerity to become the most powerful person on earth? All right. In charge of a department of justice. Oh, she doesn't like what you have to say. Maybe you'll get a knock on your door. Maybe she'll tell the FBI to look real mean when they come to visit you. She does a lot of projection. She says that Donald Trump wants to be a dictator. Her actions here demonstrate a dictatorial attitude. Now I want to play this one part again, because this is extremely disturbing. I learned that with the swipe of my pen, I could charge someone with the lowest level offense. That person could be arrested. They could lose time from work and their family maybe lose their job. They'd have to come out of their own pocket to help hire a lawyer. They'd lose standing in their community. She learned that she could abuse her power. And you, you heard her say it. Oh, well, dismiss the charges, but you've already lost standing in your community. You've lost your job. Wow. This woman is not prepared in terms of her mindset, her ability to handle power. She's not prepared to be the president of the United States with that mentality. She should have never been a prosecutor. In her own words, she has proven that she was an abusive prosecutor. With all of the crime and violence that was taking place in California, mind you, what did she do to interdict illegal border crossings? Because that's been going on in California forever, predating her. Did she do anything to stop that? Did she exercise the exact same vigor toward that problem that she did toward putting parents in jail. And these are poor people, okay? Of all stripes, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, poor people, all right? You know how it is. You're working a job and you miss a day. Okay, so I think they call that, I believe they call that an occurrence, right? And you rack up too many of those occurrences, then you're out, all right? You certainly can't call them and tell them, hey, I need the day off. I just got arrested. All right. How's that going to go down? But she's an elitist. The uh, string of pearls around her neck, 65 grand. That's more than the median income of the average American wage earner. Okay. She doesn't like you. She's doing whatever the hell she needs to do and say to get the top spot. Even Bernie Sanders said that. And God forbid she gets it because she has already shown us what she does and how she behaves once she gets power. And the mantle of president of the United States, that is the most powerful position in the world, in the history of the world so far. Spread this message before people go out and put this type of overzealous power mad attitude in the Oval Office.